common pattern in each of the Bulldogs win this season. Following slow starts in the first through third quarters, the offense comes alive in the last 15 minutes. No different on Saturday as Jabar Smith and Boston Scott hammered the final nail in the coffin for South Alabama. We kind of bogged down there in the third quarter for some, got in some long distance uh, situations, got some bad field position, but we kind of refigured ourselves, or got a little bit more physical in the run game. We did a couple different things that we hadn't really done in the run game previous to that point. Smith continues his uphill climb and the victory, he had a career high in yards, touchdowns, and completions. I think when you look at not being targeted to just one receiver, uh, the number of receivers that are catching balls, it shows a little bit that he is really allowing the defense to determine where the ball goes. With the running game finally getting back into full swing late in Saturday's game, more promising news for that unit. They face a UAB squad who's 93rd in the country against defending the rush. There's some people that have hit some plays on them, but the problem you have is there's, there's no consistency in it. They are really good at corners, which give them the opportunity to lock up and play man. It's just really hard to find a seam. Ironically, the Blazers have had success on the ground, ranked 36th nationally thanks to their quarterback. He's big, he's athletic, he can run, and he can throw it. We have played some really good quarterbacks. He is ex as explosive and as dynamic as any quarterback that we've played. Chris Demersion, NBC 10 Sports.